Hi guys, so today we are making a no carb chicken and rice dish. Um, so here I have chicken thighs. I trimmed the fat off of them. Um, and for our spice mixture today, I have um, half a tablespoon of cumin, half a tablespoon of turmeric, half a tablespoon of oregano, and half a tablespoon of paprika. And then here I have the same spice mixture, only a half of teaspoon. I have salt and pepper. I have about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I have, this is optional, um, red pepper flakes. And I have some Greek yogurt. And then I have my salt and pepper, of course, additional salt and pepper. I have the garlic paste that I use, olive oil. And this is our no carb rice. So this is the rice. The konjac rice, right? Yes. It's made by made with a yam. Yeah, K-O-N-J-A-C. You can buy it from Amazon or Walmart. Everybody can find it. Yep. There are a bunch of different brands out there. So let's get started. So I just wanted to discuss really quick, super quick, um, what the difference is between this and another rice. So this is the konjac rice. Um, or the al rice alternative. It only has five calories per serving. It has two grams of carbohydrate with two grams of fiber. So again, if you deduct the fiber uh, from the carbohydrate, that's zero. And I wanted to now show you what you think is healthy, which is the brown rice, right? Um, this has 170 calories per serving, which is only one fourth cup dry um, and it has about 34 grams of carbohydrate with only two grams of fiber so that's a huge difference okay so i'm just going to take the chicken thighs i'm going to put them in a um ziploc bag here and then in here with the hand that i didn't touch actually let me take my glove off there <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to the chicken. Just eyeball it, I'm not, you know, just, it's just for a coating. So now I'm gonna take, this was, again, this is a half a tablespoon of each, turmeric, oregano, paprika, and cumin. And I'm gonna add that in, along with some salt and pepper, to taste however you like it. Um, now I'm just gonna shake this up. You just wanna make sure that slices are evenly coating the chicken. Put some olive oil in my pan. I have it on a medium high heat. I'm just gonna place the chicken thighs in the pan. And now I'm gonna cook until they're um, cooked all the way through and a little crispy. Okay, so our chicken looks nice and golden brown, crispy and delicious. Look at that. Looks so good. Oh, chicken. <laughs> okay, so. Now we're going to chop it up. I'm just going to roughly Chop my chicken thighs. They don't have to be super small pieces. All right, so now we're just gonna add a little bit of olive oil to the pan here. Um, I've diced up the um, chicken thighs. I'm just gonna go ahead and add those to this pan now. Normally I cook everything, this dish, in one pan. Um, if I was using couscous or something like that, but since the rice, you don't actually have to cook. Um, I'm doing it this way, okay. So everything is in here, the chicken's in here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the rice. Fake rice, all, rice alternative. <laughs> Konjac rice. <laughs> all right, we're gonna mix that up. Looks like a rice to me. And then I'm going to add, again, this was a half a teaspoon of each of what we used before, which is the turmeric, oregano, cumin, and paprika. Oops. <laughs> now,
Now, if you wanna make it spicy, you can add the crushed red pepper. I'm just gonna add a little bit here. All right, make sure that's well blended. And while that's kind of just heating up together and flavors are getting together, we're gonna go ahead and make that yogurt sauce. Um, this yogurt sauce tastes great on top of the chicken. So here I just have, again, it's um, Greek yogurt, and I have about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I have one Splenda, which I forgot to mention in the very beginning of the video, one Splenda packet, and a little bit of garlic paste. Yeah, garlic and apple cider vinegar will definitely help with the sugar control, although I don't think this dish will spike the blood sugar at all. <laughs> Pinch of but salt. But overall, these are good for you guys. And we're just gonna stir this up. I know it's kind of a weird combination, but I promise you it tastes really good on chicken. You might be thinking like vinegar and yogurt sounds weird, but it's really, really good. And with the garlic in there and salt and pepper, it's just it's really, really good. All right, now we're just gonna put that to the side. So we can, you can omit this if you don't like it or don't wanna use it. Okay. <laughs> it is already done. All right, what happened here? Okay, so here's the chicken and rice and I went ahead and put some of that yogurt sauce on top um, and I put some sriracha. Um, it's really good with the yogurt, the heat, and um, it works well with the yogurt and I just, Put a side of broccoli with some feta cheese. Um, mm, as a side dish. Yummy. Mm, that looks good to me. So no carb. Well, there's some yogurt in there. There's some carbs in there. So don't lie to me. There's some carbs. I'm not eating this dish. I'm done. I'm not gonna have any carbs. Don't be the um, don't be that guy, guys. That's a very healthy dish. You're gonna love it. Try it. Awesome. Bon appetit. All right guys, I hope you like the dish and I think I love it already, uh, the way it looks. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up, please share and we'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.